Hello, my name is Suzanne Ketchke. I'm one of the pastors here at Crosswinds Church. And if you're wa watching this, we welcome you. We welcome you to our LeaderLink e-trainings. Our LeaderLink e-trainings are designed to help equip ministry leaders as they serve in whatever area of ministry they're serving in. We thank you so much for your willingness to serve and to reach others for Christ. We thank you for your willingness to watch this video and learn. At Crosswinds, one of our core values is to equip leaders, to help our leaders develop into everything that they can be. We want to help our leaders learn to lead in their ministry areas and to lead well. If you're watching this video, this video is our Crosswinds LeaderLink e-training for our Real Kids ministry. You know, Crosswinds has a purpose. Our purpose is defined for us in the book of 1 Corinthians where the Apostle Paul talks to us and he says this. He says, Though we are free and we belong to no one, we have made ourselves slaves to everyone to win as many as possible. We've become all things to all people so that by all possible means we might save some. We do this for the sake of the gospel that we may share in its blessings. See, God has called us to be a people that do everything that we know of, everything humanly possible to reach others for Christ. And that is our purpose. And as part of our Real Kids ministry, you get to do that in the hearts of young people. I did not grow up in the church. I didn't go to church till I was almost 30 years old. But at Crosswinds, we are very passionate about reaching young people for Christ. Statistics show that after the age of 18, a person's ability or willingness to accept Christ dropped to 4%. So it is important and it is urgent that we reach our children with the message of Jesus Christ. Kids in our world today are confused and they're hurting and they need us. They need you to be the role model that many of you are, are going to be and have been for them. You know, you've heard the old proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. And I don't know about a village, but when it comes to serving God and being part of a church, it takes all of us to be committed to our children, to be committed to our youth as we serve them and try to put God's love into their hearts and let them know that they're valued. And there's a God who knows how they were made. I think sometimes we underestimate how much they need us. I'll find myself wanting to please the crowd. I'll find myself wanting to please the crowd. I'll need you to remind me that I should obey God. That I should obey God. I'll act like I don't have any problems. I'll need you to show me how to share my struggles with others. I want to have a lot of money so I can buy what I want. I'll need you to teach me that my things belong to God. That my things belong to God. I'll struggle with my looks and appearance. I'll need you to remind me that God wonderfully made me. I'll tend to think about myself before others. I'll need you to teach me that the last will become first. The last will become first. The last will become first. I'll think I'm a lot smarter than I actually am. I'll think I'm a lot smarter than I actually am. I'll need you to show me how to learn from God's wisdom. I'll want to avoid hard conversations. I'll want to avoid hard conversations. I'll need you to show me how to speak the truth. In love. In love. I'll look for happiness in many different places. I'll need you to show me that joy is found in following Christ. I'll find myself stuck in bad habits. I'll need you to show me the way out. I'll need you to show me the way out. I'll need you. I'll need you. I'll need you. I'll need you. To point me toward Christ when no one else will. To point me toward Christ when no one else will. At Crosswinds, each and every Sunday, we have an opportunity to teach a child about God's love. You know, we are passionate about children's ministry. Make no mistake about it. And parents are coming in and they need us. They need our help. They need us to partner with them. They need us to help teach God's truth. And we thank you for being willing to do that. And these kids never underestimate how much they need us. I started out in ministry as a children's pastor. And I used to always say, if you get the kids, you get the parents. Parents often come into church and they're not in a relationship with Christ. But if their kids come in and their kids have enjoyed what they've done, and their kids have learned something when they're here, and their kids were cared for and safe and valued, those people will come back. Never underestimate the power of serving in our real kids' ministry.
At Crosswinds, our, we, our curriculum is important to us as we teach those kids. And in order to make it go well for you and have your life, we try to have that, uh, everything organized as best we can. Our children's directors work hard to ensure that for you. First of all, our curriculum, our curriculum is video-based. So when you come into your classroom, you'll discover that there will be a TV and a DVD player. There'll be songs on there. There'll be a lesson on there. There'll be things for you to do with your kids to involve them. And we do as much as we can to prepare that for you. A link is mailed out each and every Monday to all our Real Kids workers. The link will tell you where to go. The curriculum is on there. And you can go there and wherever you're doing during the week, if you're out of town, if you're on vacation, you don't have to worry about running to the church to come get your per curriculum. You can just uh, print your curriculum and print the activities that you would like to do with your class. We do that as a convenience to you. We'll also have hard copies available if for some reason you can't print. You just need to make our, let our children's directors be aware of that. In preschool, we use a curriculum called Little K. And if you'll look, there'll be a sample of that um, under our documents for our e-training. There'll be a Real Kids Preschool, and it'll have a handout, and it'll give you a sample of that. It's a pretty simple process. Our kids come in, we ask them a question, we show them the video. We usually do an activity. There's several for you to choose from, a craft, whatever that may be. We allow our teachers to get whatever they want to get, because sometimes our teachers put their own personality in there, and the craft says to do this, and they go to the dollar st store and discover that. So use your creativity bring it into your class and then after that they usually ask a question and for preschoolers it's important that they get a little time where they can just play and singing Jesus loves me and playing and you spending time and loving on them is very very important our elementary students use a curriculum called elevate and if you look under the document section of our e-training you'll discover that there'll be something for our real kids under elementary and it'll show you the options there if you look at that uh, curriculum page, you might say, wow, there's like nine different activities. Well, at Crosswinds, what we do, we have a curriculum coordinator who serves under our children's ministry directors, and our curriculum coordinator will go through all those nine options, narrow them down to you to about three. Again, you'll come in, there'll be a little warm-up, you might start with an opening prayer, you'll show the video to the kids, you'll discuss the lessons, you might look at some things in scripture. We have Bibles in each and every classroom, and we would like to teach our children to use those Bibles. And then there'll be an activity, and you'll get to choose, and you'll get to set the direction. We want you to use your personality as you serve. In each classroom, we'll have basic supplies. These supplies are things like paper. These are things like construction paper, scissors, markers, all those things, and those are there for you, for your use. If there's something that we need to add to that, please let one of our children's directors know. As a classroom teacher at Crosswinds, you'll be asked to fill out an attendance sheet. You'll find an attendance sheet in a file folder in your classroom, and if you would, just mark down the kids' names uh, the best way that you're capable of capturing them. The older kids obviously are able to tell you, younger kids a little harder. Um, you can ask for parents' help with that. When the children come into the room, you should be there to welcome those children. And you come in and you welcome the children. Say, it's so great to see you today. And as you come in and welcome them, they'll come in, they'll feel warm, they'll feel welcome. Some kids are hesitant. But you being there with a big smile on your face is a great way for children to come into that experience. And when the parents pick up, it's so important that you would affirm their child. Say, here is this child and this child today. His name is Joseph. And say, wow, Joseph had a great turn or Joseph had time today. Or Joseph really answered that question. What a great kid you have. And affirm the child in front of their parents. Kids love that. And a parents, all parents love to hear something good and positive about their children. Just Joseph did great today goes a long way for making a guest feel welcome and making a child be affirmed. Another thing is they come in, we'll have name tags in the room. You'll be able to have a name tag on every child, every child, so you can call them by name. That's very important. When it comes to going to the bathroom in classrooms, what happens with a lot of kids, I used to be a school teacher, and when kids start to get a little bored or maybe they feel anxiety or something, they always want to go to the bathroom. And what we ask our teachers to do is the very first time that they ask to go to the bathroom, ask them this. Say, could you wait five minutes? If a child really has to go, they're going to come and ask you again. We try not to let them run back and forth to the bathrooms. When our children do go to the bathrooms, one of our workers will have to go. We never send children to bathrooms all by themselves. But just think about that. Just having them actively engage will help on a lot of those things. In our Real Kids Ministry, if you need a substitute, you can also note under the documents under our e-training section and on our Real Kids uh, website, you will find that there will be a substitute list. 
And if you're going to be out, we ask you to be an adult and not drop that burden onto either of our children's directors. You'll serve on a team with lots of other people who serve as part of their team, and you just contact one of the other teachers and have them change with you. As you know, of course, if there's an emergency, you contact that children's director and we will get it filled for you. But if you know you're going to Gulf Shores, and you're pretty lucky if you are, if you know you're going to Gulf Shores in three weeks, just go ahead and do a little advanced preparation and help uh, serve the ministry and serve it well by finding your own substitute. Now, our teams in our church are set up where you will either be serving on a first Sunday team, a second Sunday team, a third Sunday team, or a fourth Sunday team. And when you come in to serve, you don't ever have to worry about knowing what the actual date is. You just look at the calendar and you know, I serve the second Sunday of every month or I serve the fourth Sunday of every month. And some of you may be wondering, well, what about fifth Sundays? Well, fifth Sundays, when we experience fifth Sundays, what we do is, is that our first Sunday team is going to take the first fifth Sunday of the year. If you look at a calendar, you'll realize that in most calendar years, there are four fifth Sundays. So our first Sunday team takes the first fifth Sunday. Our second Sunday team takes our second fifth Sunday. Our third Sunday team takes the third fifth Sunday. And our fourth Sunday team takes the fourth fifth Sunday. So once a year, we ask you to help and fill that in for the fifth Sundays. So that's just part of all the things that happen with our children's ministry. I want you to know that we appreciate your service to children so much. You never know the impact you're going to make in a child's life. You will never know that one day that child will talk about the teacher who helped them, the teacher who loved them. I can't think of anything more a powerful or a better investment to make in the life of a child. I want you to know that your ministry is appreciated, that you are prayed for, and we thank your, you for your willingness to come in and help reach children and their families and teach them about God's love for them. I thank you for being part of our LeaderLink e-training. This session has been our real kids, and I look forward to seeing you as you serve our children, and we look forward to seeing you in worship. God bless.